brand is Cusco's most famous market, San Pedro. And this is the first of a series of how to cook dishes while traveling. And we're gonna make ají de gallina. So we're just gonna pick up a few ingredients and then head home. Hi, I'm Suti, and today we're gonna cook ají de gallina in an Airbnb kitchen. One of my favorite recipes is so comforting even though it has the ahi pepper. Quite spicy, but we're gonna do something to bring the heat down, and um, by making a cream base and combining everything, it's actually the end result won't be too spicy. The recipe um, we're using today is loosely based on this book. Um, you can find it in newsstands and ferias, uh, book fairs. It's light, it's uh, very informative, but it's all in Spanish. And also, if you go to your um, nearest tourist center, you could get one of these recipe cards. We're gonna use chicken instead of hen today for um, a simpler version of this recipe. So we have um, bread. It doesn't matter if it's a little stale. We're gonna be soaking it anyway. And then you have peanuts that gives flavor and texture. And then you have evaporated milk. So we have combi potatoes, which the uh, market vendor recommended for ahi de gallina. This is extra bettered rice. Yeah, this better be good olives and eggs, huevos. Um, if you order um, this dish in a restaurant and you don't see the two, um, you're probably not eating a traditional version of this dish. Authentic, delicious, cheap, and really tasty. This is ajo, garlic, and this caboya. Uh, some people use white onions, but we're gonna use red. I kinda like the extra kick. And these are just bay leaves. You'll need a blender and a sieve um, to make the paste. So this is my knife I've been carrying around the world as I learned to cook. Um, a lot of people wonder about this, but you can check them into your bag. It's never been a problem. I've been all over Asia. I've been all over Latin America. And you can use this ahi paste for, to flavor all of the food that you eat. We're gonna just cut off the top and then do a slice uh, lengthwise and then scoop out the seeds. No water. <laughs> Welcome to Peru. Luckily, we thought ahead of time. So we're gonna put um, the ahi in uh, boiling water for about 15 or 20 minutes. It's been about 20 minutes, um, so we're gonna check on the peppers. They're semi-soft and that's what we want. We're gonna use three cloves of garlic. And then we're gonna saute a little and make our paste. So we're gonna test the blender now. The kind of problems you run into in Peru. Um, this came with the plate, this came with the plate, but they don't fit together. I thought you'd have plugs in here. I'm gonna look for the lid. Eat a cola bottle. So I think this is gonna be our lid. <laughs> eh, good enough. I didn't know this was an episode of MacGyver. Salt. Okay. Lid. Adapter. Luckily, we have a super <laughs> blender. Super. Um, we got the paste we want. This is about the consistency we want. Maybe a little watery, but um, we're gonna have to adjust anyways the thickness of the stew. Now, by poaching the chicken, we make a stock, um, and we'll use the stock with the bread and the peanuts to make the sauce. And once the sauce is made, we combine everything together, and then we garnish it. Uh, lower the heat a little, so we get a gentle poach. It's been uh, 12 minutes, and we're um, poaching it at a gentle boil. And um, I think we're about ready to shred the chicken. Make sure to keep the stock. It's gonna become the basis of the sauce. It's a simple stock, but it's gonna add flavor. Get a couple spoons of stock. 
while it was hot, put the bread in. It's gonna be our thickening agent. Half a cup of peanut, just lightly toast it. The bread. It's about one tablespoon per chicken breast. Evaporated milk. Push it up a little more because our blender, as we know, can't handle too much. So the bread thickens with the milk and then the peanut adds flavor plus a little more texture. The magic sauce. Heating up the sauce and we're gonna combine it with the chicken. I'm gonna show you how to put together the final plate for our ahi de gallina. Uh, we have a boiled potato, boiled eggs, and aceituna, uh, olives. Uh, we peel the potatoes and just do simple slices. Put it on the edge of the plate. Put about uh, one or two olives on the side, very little. Take an egg, slice it in half, ready to go. And we have our um, ahi de gallina at a simmer. Go for a taste. Not too spicy, it's creamy. It's almost a little like a curry. This is comfort food. Nice, hefty Peruvian portion. So this shirt was a gift um, from my friend Jen, and I think it's pretty funny and pretty fitting for today.